my as uh, Justin has just uh, mentioned, my my title is digital mapping of capability and the capable in African waters. I we go to the introduction. The study is actually classified under Raymond Simmons Computer Assisted Literary Criticism, which I now look at as Computer Assisted Literary Analysis, color. It actually hybridizes quantitative and quantitative approaches using ANTCOM and the variant as digital tools, just as catalyst. Uh, and so it draws from a collective framework of post-colonial theory and onomastics as ways of examining the corpus. Actually, that aligns equally to Vitra Gastidis and Marchand had advocated the plurality of approaches in color. That means that we need to introduce theories, especially when we are handling some projects in literary analysis in digital humanity. And so it admits the challenges of corpus building as I attempted to do of African literary work. The reason being that lack of, there is actually a lack of uh, digital infrastructure in many African uh, universities. Uh, beside that, you also have uh, Eurocentric conditions. And before you procure some digital tests, it's always very difficult. And that explains my concentration now in this work. I'm going to concentrate actually on Amadou Kuruma's uh, word test. And then it explains my impossibility of examining Mukasonga a genocidal test that is based on Rwandan genocide. However, uh, this is just a work in progress. The methodology I had employed that uh, Kruma word test is just a trilogy. Alan Epaz Obligé in French is written in French. And then Compton Rufus on Dino, uh, they are just mine. And then the digital inter interactive tools I use enable a statistical techniques that generate concordance, as you can know, and cluster keywords, and then word cloud, collocations, uh, cyrus, et cetera, et cetera, for analysis and for synthesis. On the ANTCOM, I would quickly say there are about 9,492 word types and 95,264 word tokens in the study in the study um, uh, corpus. And then you find out that there, there are 10 anthroponyms. I did the anthroponym, the historical figures that are ranked in their frequencies. And then I also generated about two anthroponyms of uh, geo, geo, geographical places that are equally ranked. And then I also have uh, ethnonyms, uh, that is you have the Diolas, the, the Francais, and then you have the Bete as thus classified. However, the accuracy of uh, the frequency is in doubt, especially when it has to do with the, the anthroponyms. Uh, the, the reason being that uh, at times the names of uh, uh, one person's name, that's the two names, personal name, and then the surname are entered as separate names. And because of that, for example, you have Fode, you have Sanko, and then you have Robert, you have a Bagbo, and they are just entered separately. However, these historical figures occupy places of prominence in variant series and trends as most frequent words in the corpus. And then you can see, as I'm going to show and uh, demonstrate here, and these are, I was able to generate, okay, these are the outcome outputs, and that was generated, and there uh, you can see them with actually with their collocates. But from this, I was able to generate this is list of anthroponyms, and then uh, you have list of toponyms, and these are just as they appear according to uh, according to the positions uh, they occupy in their frequency. And if it is in in a variant, then you see them in their prominence. And then what is my analysis and result? I quickly will add that the Liberian and Ivorian wars are discussed in the corpus, and the list of anthroponyms and toponyms represent the, the Amadou Kuruma's interest in post-colonial history and the historical identities. That means the frequencies and the series, they play emphatic functions as they represent actually the post-colonial onomastic discourse. And that means that the number of mentions are not just uh, incidental or accidental. The list uh, shows culpability ranking. That means that the, the level of view, the culpability ranking of the, po uh, the political and historical figures implicated in, in the test. And so, for example, you have Ufe Boigne, uh, that is first, the second, uh, the Rob, um, uh, Ro Laurent Gbagbo, you have Red Gaze, and then that is um, uh, Robert Gaze, and for the Ivorian War, 
But if you come to the Liberian War, you have Johnson, you have Sanko, you have Joe, that is the first position, second and the third. The frequency of prominence in spirit is the level of their capability, the level of their guilt. And so how, do, how can it be justified? Buffet Boanyan's position is justified because his politics, actually according to experts in Ivorian politics, excluded the vast majority of Ivorians. And then it was, uh, it was Laurent Gbagbo's government that ratified the identity politics of what they call in French Ivoirite, that is Ivorian. And so you also understand that in the case of Liberian War, uh, Johnson, that is Prince Johnson, played a prominent role in the Liberian War. That is why he occupies the first position in the discourse, according to the author. And the reason being that he was the one that assassinated uh, Samuel Do in connivance with Chastello. And then if you come to the toponyms, you'll find out that after, okay. And so, how the collocates, uh, with the collocates, it's possible for us to understand how the, the post-colonial orderness and stereotypes, how they aid the, 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 the enemies to animalize the enemy tribe. That is the Bete against the Duelas, just like the Hutu against the Tutsi. And uh, that means that it was through general, the, the orderness and the stereotype. I will quickly conclude that my test as deployed has shown how the author used the ranking to criminalize a political figure responsible for African wars and to classify their guilt. The writer's capability shot demonstrate the appropriation of guilt according to the roles each person played during the wars. Why the Ivorian identity politics cause they can be traced to Ufe Boanyen and Gbagbo, the Liberian war wouldn't have been a reality without Prince Johnson and Samedo, whose death eventually caused the war. My story had demonstrated the usefulness of theories in DH-related literary analysis as it is not feasible to map guilt in what is using close reading. Thank you very much. Thank you.